Hey guys, it's Aiden Over BHA here, bringing you a new video. So this video is specifically going to be about MQTT. If you've seen any of my other videos, then you know that I've done a lot of stuff on MQTT. For the longest time, I've added all my MQTT devices in the Home Assistant with what I would call the legacy method of MQTT. And that's basically manually adding each device with their command and state topics into our switches.yaml or light.yaml file or anything like that. But today we're going to talk about MQTT discovery. Now to me, what I think this is going to do for us is it's going to allow us to add devices with one less step than we've ever had to do before. Basically, we add our configuration into Tasmoda, and Home Assistant is going to pick up that device almost immediately. We'll be using the MQTT integration, so everything will be configured from the web GUI, which will be a lot less configuration in the YAML files themselves. So let's check it out! I searched around quite a bit trying to find out information on the MQTT integration, and there just wasn't much out there. Even on the Home Assistant page for MQTT, there's no real mention of the MQTT integration. So I thought it would be cool to do a video on this and show you how all this was going to work. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. For starters, we're going to kind of go over obvious prerequisites. Uh, once we do that, then we are going to remove our old MQTT config since we've been using the old legacy method all along. Once that's done, then we're going to add the new MQTT integration into Home Assistant, make a few config changes in Tasmoda, and then lastly, we'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. So for the most part, I feel like this goes without mentioning, but for an obvious prerequisite, you have to have some sort of MQTT broker already set up on your network. This is what all the devices are going to communicate with, and then Home Assistant will also communicate with it, and that's where the connection between the devices and Home Assistant will come into play. I'll put a link in the description below to a video I've done on setting up Mosquito MQTT broker in Docker. Well, assuming that you already have that set up, or once you already do have that set up, we're going to move on to that next step. All right, since we've already been using the old legacy method of MQTT, we need to remove our existing configuration in order for this new integration to work properly. Now, I'm not going to completely remove it. I'm just going to go and comment it out for now because I want to make sure that this is going to work the way I want it to before we just go all in on the MQTT integration. So I'm basically going to edit my configuration.yaml file and find the section I have set up for MQTT. And we're just going to comment all of it out. Once we have that commented out, then we can go ahead and save that file. The next step is going to be to basically do the same thing for the light that we're going to add in with the MQTT integration. So for this video, I'm going to use my side door light. This is a light that I have outside my house next to the side door entrance. So I'm going to edit my lights.yaml file here and do the same thing. Comment out the section that talks about the side door light. Once I've done that, then I'm going to go ahead and save this as well. And then I can jump over to the web interface and restart Home Assistant for these changes to take effect. While we're waiting for that to come back up, we'll go ahead and move on to that next step. All right, so now we are ready to add our MQTT integration into Home Assistant. So in the configuration section, we're going to click on integrations. From there, we're going to go down and hit that plus in the bottom right corner. We'll search for MQTT. Click on that and then we'll fill in all the information for our MQTT broker. So mine is running on the same machine as Home Assistant. For the broker, it's just going to be localhost. Port is going to be the same since that's the default port. 
it'll be 1883. And then if you have security set up on your MQTT broker, then you need to set this up as well. Mine will be my username and password for that. The main thing that we need to do here is enable discovery. This is what's going to make it able to pull in all of those devices automatically when they're set up on our network. Go ahead and hit submit. And as you can see, if you click on that right here, there's nothing in there just yet because we still have to make some changes in Tasmoda for this to work properly. Let's go ahead and move on to that next step. All right, so here I am in Tasmoda on the web front end of my side door light configuration. As you can see here, this is a Shelly 1. I need to change a couple of commands in the console. So we're going to click on console. So to enable discovery in Tasmoda, we need to set option 19 to 1. So we'll type that in here. Secondly, by default, all the devices that you set up for discovery between Tasmoda and Home Assistant automatically come in as a switch. Since I am adding a light and I want it to show up as a light in Home Assistant, then I'm going to change set option 30 to 1 as well. This changes the default setup from being a switch to a light. Now, unfortunately, at this point in time, as far as I can tell anyway, the only two choices for auto discovery from Tasmoda into Home Assistant are switch and light. So if you have other items like sensors and covers, you're probably going to want to continue to add those to Home Assistant the old fashioned way. Once both of those commands have been added, I'm going to restart this Shelly 1 just to make sure that the changes take effect. Once that's done, we're going to move on to that last step. Alright, so here we are in the uh, configuration section of Home Assistant, and we're going to click on Integrations. And as you can see where the MQTT broker is listed, it already has a whole bunch of icons there, meaning that it's pulled in a lot of my devices, not just the one that we have set up here, but a lot of other devices that I already have set up for discovery as well. So we'll click on that, and then we'll go down to Side Door Light. That's the one that we just added. And as you can see here, it's pulled in all kinds of stuff. In fact, it even connected with the device tracker I have set up from my unified device tracking component. But it's got a light switch, it's got a sensor for the button, and it has a sensor with all kinds of other information as well. And since I don't really use the binary sensor for the button itself, I'm going to disable that just to keep the clutter down to a minimum in Home Assistant. That's pretty much it, guys. We have automatically added all these devices into. Home Assistant using MQTT Discovery with Tasmoda, and it works great. Like I said, for now, the only downside that I see, it will only recognize devices as switch or light. So if you have other things like covers or sensors, they're not going to come in correctly in Home Assistant. Overall, I think this is a much easier setup than having to manually add all that information into Home Assistant each time we add a new Tasmoda device onto our network. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course for starters we went over the obvious prerequisites that were needed for this to work properly. Then we removed or commented out our old MQTT configuration. Once that was done then we added the new MQTT integration into Home Assistant. Made a few changes in Tasmoda to enable discovery. And lastly I showed you what that looked like in action. That's the end of the video, guys. If you have a lot of MQTT devices, I think this is definitely one way to look at setting up all those devices in Home Assistant without having to manually add each one in our YAML files. Other than that, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well. And I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.